this is the uh, Drake TRM. It is a uh, HF single sideband and amplitude modulation radio telephone, professional marine radio that was uh, manufactured by Drake uh, in the 70s and early 80s. The radio is uh, solid state except for the uh, final, the transmitter uh, PA that uses two tubes 6LQ6 in parallel and those tubes are good for uh, 150 watts total PEP. This uh, radio has 11 uh, channels that can be preset, they are crystal controlled. Uh, the channels can be simplex and semi-duplex, basically uh, uh, with shift, which is uh, usual in the marine radio uh, uh, application. Uh, the transmitter crystals are ovenized. Uh, this particular radio has 10 uh, channels actually occupied. Uh, there is a chart on here that shows you what's, uh, what frequencies they are. It's basically uh, from 2 MHz to 4 MHz. The radio itself can be programmed from 2 MHz to 9 MHz in four, four bands. But uh, uh, like I said, right now there is only two bands actually used, which are the lower bands. Radio would make a great uh, uh, 60 meter uh, uh, radio. But, like I said, this is a pretty unique radio, not too many are uh, still uh, uh, available. And you might be seeing something right now that not too many people have seen, actually a working TRM. That I think is, uh, is uh, pretty rare these days. Uh, I can demonstrate its function to you. Uh, like I said, it has 10 channels, they all are uh, set up. I have a uh, monitor transceiver, a uh, Yezu FT817 uh, that I have pre-programmed for these 10 uh, marine channels. Radio is supplied from a, uh, a Linko uh, DM330MV uh, power supply which can supply 32 amps and we are going to need that as you will see. Uh, radio runs from 12 volts, there is a uh, solid state uh, inverter that supplies the uh, PA tubes with uh, about 650 volts when active. The inverter only comes on when you transmit since uh, for receive everything is uh, running solid state. Radio has the uh, correct microphone uh, for this model. It's the Turner. Actually uh, that's the one that Drake picked for this particular radio. Uh, what we will do is uh, transmit on the uh, Drake and then you will hear the results on the Yesu. That's a bit loud. One, two, three, testing. One, two, three, one, two, three. That seems to work. Let's do it the other way around with the Yezu. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, testing. Receiver works as well. I could hook it up to the antenna, but there is uh, not much to do during the day on these frequencies. So I'm running it off a dummy load right now. The antenna has an integrated, uh, I'm sorry, the radio has an integrated antenna tuner. Um, that tuner can be programmed for each of the 11 channels. It, each channel has its own uh, antenna tuner capacitors and a tap point on the inductor. Uh, so you could run it directly to a, uh, a wire or a, uh, uh, a open feeder. Right now I have it uh, hooked to 50 ohms. Uh, the radio can be set internally with the jumper to 50 ohms, so you basically then bypass the tuner, which is what I have done right now. This radio would make uh, a great radio for uh, as a standby radio or for a field day since you can uh, operate it from 12 volts and it does not need an external tuner and it has a significant uh, amount of power. It can be uh, set amplitude modulation this is what we have right now 
now we're back to single sideband radio is capable of AM which is A3H it can do a single sideband A3J and single sideband with rest carrier which is called A3H I have set all the channels for this radio right now for a single sideband only but like I said you can manually return it to the uh, AM mode we'll try another channel this is uh, channel 8 I have to change bands as well channel 8 is uh, 2738 megahertz which uh, kilohertz excuse me 2.738 megahertz which is uh, also a simplex channel in this uh, radio we'll uh, set this to uh, channel 8 as well see if it works one two three this is the Yezu as the transmitter this is the Yezu we go to the uh, Yezu as the receiver and the TRM as the transmitter. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. I don't know if you can hear the solid state inverter, it makes a little bit of noise. I don't know if that comes out on the uh, video but that's basically uh, getting us the power for the uh, transmitter like I said pretty unique radio not too many are still around this one is uh, in exceptional condition I don't think it has been used much the tubes almost look like new and it works perfect Thank you for uh, watching this video.